Hey guys, welcome back to Custom Days. Well, today we're working on Operation Blackout. Uh, we've got it down for a few more modifications, and uh, we've uh, just come out with this new coolant filter uh, filtration system, and we're going to install it on here and uh, kind of give you all an idea of uh, how it goes on, what it does, and uh, how to install it. So we're going to get started here. First thing we're going to do is remove this uh, radiator. It's actually the uh, intercooler support stud on the top side, passenger side of the engine. Alright guys, we've got our, uh, our coolant manifold and our bracket installed. We've also went ahead and installed our ball valves and our hose feedings. And now what we're going to do is run our lines to uh, for the, the supply and the return uh, through the coolant manifold. And the one we're going to start with is going to be the one that's going to go in here on the side of the manifold and go across the top of the radiator. And it's actually going to tie in over here to the shunt line that goes to the big gas pump. Now we've already got our line cut here. We've cut it off about 3 or 4 inches from the radiator itself. That allows us plenty of room to get our teeth. So we're simply going to push our hose on. And we've already got the antifreeze out of this truck, so don't forget to drain your coolant before you go to cut and splice it on your, your water line with the truck. And we're going to install our teeth here. And then the remainder of our factory D gas line. keep in mind is when you're when you're working right in here uh, the way your lines are going to be routed is going to be very close to your upper radiator hose so you want to make sure that you keep your clamp turned in a position where as the truck's running that uh, it's not going to interfere with your upper radiator hose to where you want to get it rubbing a hole in it and then you'll develop an antifreeze bleed. These ball valves are designed to, uh, to allow you to turn the flow off so you can change the filter without loss of coolant. So the way these are made when, you're, uh, when your handle is straight in line with your line and the valve is on, when it's turned 90 degrees the valve is off, you'll uh, you want to turn your valves to the 90 degree angle to change your filter. Now that we have that done, we're going to install our other coolant line which is going to go right in here where your heater line actually comes out of the water pump and actually goes back to feed the heater coil. So we've really got our clamp removed. We're going to slip this hose off. And we're going to pull it up here before we can get to it a little easier. Now on this one, this hose is going to go on here. it around behind the oil field neck and we're going to tie into this hose just like so. So we need to make a cut about right here to install our tip. Now that we have that cut, we're going to grab our hose around. Get off here. If you're 
original clamp going back in the same location at the end on the steel pipe up front where it goes into the water. Now we're just going to wrap this assembly right back in the same location that it was in. And once you once you get done with the assembly process, go over and check each clamp again, make sure that it's good and tight. That way you don't, you know, start filling your cooling system up and find that you've got a leak. It always it's always good to double check. But from here, once you get all your clamps tight, all we gotta do is spin our filter on. And fill the truck back up with antifreeze and uh, check for leaks and then start it and let it start running and check for leaks making sure that your valves are open so the coolant is actually cycling through the filter now during the first six months that you have this uh, filtration system on your vehicle you're going to want to change your filter a couple of times because you're going to start uh, you're going to start getting all those uh, particles out rather quickly so we want to keep our filter changed for the first little bit i'd recommend about after the first couple of months and then after maybe about four months after that uh, then, uh, you know, from there it'll be an annual maintenance. So, uh, once you get that done, fill it up, check for leaks, and you should be good.